Hi, this is Dan Heisman for Chess FM, and this is the Improve Your Chess video series for ICC members. In today's video, we're going to go over a Grandmaster game. Uh, Grandmaster Bjarbuk is white, if I pronounce his name right, and Grandmaster Grishik is black. So let's get right to the game. White played knight f3, a nice flexible move. Could transpose into many, many openings. By itself, it's the ready opening, but usually it doesn't stay that way. Black plays the similar flexible knight f6. White plays c4, and now things are looking a little bit more like an English. But of course, Englishes can transpose into deep on games very often as well. So we don't yet as know exactly what the opening is going to be. It'll take both players to decide what that will happen. Black plays g6, possibly heading for a King's Indian kind of setup. He had lots of alternatives. He could have played e6 or d5 or c5. Uh, knight c6 even. Uh, lots of moves he could have played. Knight c6 is pretty rare there though. All right, knight c3. Again, maintaining the flexible character of the position. White could have also played g3 or d4. Bishop g7, consistent. e4. Now when you see these pawns on e4 and c4 and there's no d pawn movement yet, one of the things you want to look at is the king's knight. If the king's knight hasn't moved yet, White could just play d3 and then Fianchetto and play knight g2. That's called the Botvinnik system. But the Botvinnik system with the pawn on d3 doesn't make a lot of sense with knight on f3. So here we're really expecting white to play d4 whether black plays like let's say c5 or not. And it's up to black to decide whether he wants to play c5 and get into some sort of Meroxy bind or whether he wants to play a kind of King's Indian. On the other hand, white playing e4 has stopped black from playing d5, so black cannot play a kind of Grunfeld here. You can see both sides kind of jockeying for position that way. Black says, I'm perfectly happy with the King's Indian setup. And white says, touche, okay. And now they pretty much agreed that they're going to play the King's Indian. All right, black castles. And now the main line of the King's Indian is bishop to e2, but instead white plays the slightly rare line h3. All right, black plays e5. That's the kind of move that people often think are not safe because black's only guarding it one time and white's attacking it twice. But if white, for instance, tries to win the pawn with knight takes e5, then simply knight takes e4. If white takes that desperado knight and tries to take on f7, what would you play here for black? Well, if you answered bishop takes c3 check to remove the guard on the knight on e4, you get the prize after b takes c3, simply king takes f7, and there's nothing to take the knight, and black would win a piece if white tried to do this. Well, since white can't try to do that, black has gotten away with this, because if knight takes, then bishop takes, and black is doing fine. So this position is about even here. So White cannot win that pawn. All right, back to the game. White knows this, of course, and he plays immediately d5, which this looks a little bit like the Petrosian variation now. The Petrosian variation would be the same kind of position, except White would have a bishop on e2 and be castled, and then play d5. With, notice in the Petrosian variation, White plays d5 without the knight on c6, which it is on the main line. Now, in this kind of position, this square c5 is a really good place to put the knight, but black can't put it there right away. If black plays, let's say, knight a6, which is usually a little more flexible than playing knight fd7, if white is experienced and he understands what's going on, he wants to attack that knight when it goes to c5, but to do that, he needs to guard e4 now. So let's say white plays something like queen c2. He's not worried about knight b4 because that knight's not going anywhere. White can simply move the queen and then attack the knight and actually gain time. But if black plays knight to c5 now, white will play b4 and make the knight look silly. So therefore, 